Hey guys, it's Jason from Big Red Adventures, finally doing a rundown on my 2020 Rubicon. Um, it's been a while coming and I thought I'd go take it out. We're out at Kenilworth at the moment, doing a bit of four wheel driving so the car's not overly clean, um, but having a great time at the moment. So stay tuned, have a look. MY20 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon luxury uh, pack which was color coded side flares and leather interior and steel bar. Uh, they were the only options that um, I got. There's only one other option you could get which is color coded roof I, and I don't like the color coded roof. I think there's too much color. Now speaking of color, color that it is sting gray. Wasn't my preference at the time but um, all you Jeep guys know these are really hard to get. Um, a, a year ago when I got it, it was hard, but it's even harder now. I think it's up to like nine months or more wait. Um, but that's the basic genuine options. Let me take you through what I've done to it now. We'll start at the front bar, steel Rubicon bar, the optioned one. Um, OEM front um, loop, rugged ridge winch plate, carbon winch. Um, Custom number plate bracket to keep that up, um, but that's it for the front bar. The grill, I've got a, um, the OEM satin finish black grill. I do, do have another grill that I put on, a bit polarizing. People either liked it or didn't like it, but I actually like the black one now. Uh, let's move on to the rest of the car. Okay, lighting. Terraloom Industries, 50 inch light bar. This thing shines for miles. It's a great light brights up anywhere that I have to go at night, really good. Amazon brackets to hold it on. Um, scene lights, uh, um, sorry, floodlights um, for the trail. So at night, so you don't have to have the top light on. Um, this lights up everything, these light up everything on the side of the car. Um, also under the car, I have the RGB rock lights. Um, eight of those fitted up under the guards and under the car for a bit of four wheel driving at night and a bit of colour to have fun. Um, I do have the um, stubby bar at the front, 10 inch, um, but I didn't go through that because I'm actually going to move that to my to the rear of the car. It'll be my reversing um, reversing light for when we're doing uh, night four wheel driving and stuff like that. I'm going to move that. I might get a couple of spotlights for the front. Haven't decided yet. Um, but as far as lighting goes, uh, the guys at um, Terra Loom Industries, fantastic. They're a local. Um, local business uh, from around where I live, which is um, up in Sunshine Coast. So um, have a look at their stuff, good stuff. Um, let's go through the rest of the car. Out at Kenilworth, supposed to be overcast day, sun's coming in and out, bit of a pain in the backside, but awning, 270 Extreme Bushwhacker. I love it, it's great. I'm gonna do a review of it um, in the next couple of weeks. It'll be my first review. Um, done a couple of mods to it, made it a little bit better, um, but there's a few things that you should do to it, um, which I had to do, um, but they don't tell you. So it's a great awning, one of my favourite things, really easy to set up, literally like 20 seconds to set up, 30 seconds to put away. So it's a good, good um, awning. Let's move on to the wheels. Wheels, tyres and suspension. All right, let's start with it. 37 by 12 Maxxis razors um, on 17 inch rims. Rims are dynamic, uh, 17 by nine, um, 18 mil offset. So, um, suspension wise, um, Dobinson 60 mil shocks, control arms, um, sway bars, although this has sway bar disconnects, um, extended sway bars, um, also got um, three inch lift, three inch springs, 
um, and some custom suspension um, bump stops to fit these 37 so they don't destroy my guards or anything. Um, still gets heaps of heaps of play. Would I go 37s again? Probably not, they're a bit heavy. Fuel usage went up by so much. Um, but for the fact, just the look factor, they look pretty cool. Um, I did keep my old 34s as well. Um, so if I'm gonna do any big trips, I might put those on just to um, save on that fuel when we're doing the Simpson Desert and whatnot. Um, also got some generic side steps. I picked them up off Ab Amazon. Just helps me reach the roof because it is getting tall. Um, but the best thing about them, you got a bottle, of under, bottle of opener under here, which is good. Um, just in case you didn't have one when you're uh, camping. Um, I don't know, do I use them much? Not really, I t tend to step on the stairs, um, the side steps or the um, the tyres, um, but I think they look pretty cool. Um, uh, let's go have a look at some of the rest of the car. Okay, tailgate. Also got the front line table, um, opens up, nice and easy, and then gives you an extension out as well. Um, use this all the time. Um, I have a little hot um, gas cooker that I put on the back here, um, and when we uh, when we go camping and do all that kind of stuff, it's really good to have. Um, let's have a look at the rest of the inside. All right, 12 volt system. In a drive um, charger, 40 volt, uh, 40 amp plus. Probably a bit of overkill. Um, it's hooked up to a 100 amp lithium ba lithium battery, LiPo 4, which is under the actual fridge here. Uh, the JLs have a spot down there. Normally put tools and stuff, but I've got a slimline one that fits in there. All my wiring, fuses, everything is under there. Very accessible if needed. Um, we have the King's panel um, at the moment. Um, King's. I'm up in the air about the brand. Some stuff's good, some stuff's a bit average. But I've had no problem with this. It's a good system. Uh, got it set up, so got the interior light up there. Uh, got lights for my awning. Um, got side lights. Everything's just hooked up, ready to go. Um, 12 volt um, out for my fridge, um, so that can run. Um, there's a couple of USB sockets and USB um, and 12 volt sockets through here um, that are all wired in as well and a solar um, so I can put my solar blanket out and give it a bit extra charge if we're staying in a spot for longer than a couple of days. Um, so that's the 12 volt system. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Please like and share. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a few videos, some trips, Fraser, Double Island, uh, Kenilworth trips, um, a few with the club, a few by myself. Um, it's going to be good, um, so keep an eye on those. Hopefully you can get some good shots um, and some videos, good content. A um, few more mods that we're going to do, exhaust, um, DRLs, changing, also maybe flares, different flares. Um, and then probably slow down a bit. Um, but do have a couple of things that I won't say that I may be looking into in the future, not too far away hopefully. Um, but they're pretty big to do, so it's going to take a fair bit of time. So, again, please like. Thanks for watching it. Thanks for watching it all the way to the end. Um, and um, we'll see you soon out on the trails. Thanks.